And where was Shakari Richardson? Well, that's the question of the hour, is it not? Before, during, and after the Paris Olympics, all eyes, okay, almost all eyes, were on Shakari. And truth be told, many are disappointed with how things are going. Dubbed as the modern day Flojo, Shakari Richardson is not only known for her lightning speed, but also celebrated for her distinctive style, featuring eye-catching hair colors, long painted nails, and tattoos that have made her an iconic figure in athletics. She is, however, yet to prove that she is indeed the next Flojo. Well, sprint legend Michael Johnson, for one, believes that Shakari is making her way towards greatness. In an interview, Johnson explained why he feels Shakari has been such a success on and off the track. I think Shakari is a very good example of an athlete who is not copying any previous greats to make an impact in the sport, the four-time Olympic champion said. The people that make the biggest impact are those who are just authentically themselves. And she is certainly that, an amazing talent who's had a unique journey to actually realize her talent on the track and win medals. She's probably one of the most interesting athletes and a fantastic talent. The legendary track star further stated that winning the world championship last year was great for Richardson as a person and as an athlete. I think it did a lot for her, he said, and it's been great for us because we get a chance to watch her. He is looking forward to seeing Shakari win championships over and over again and become a serial champion. But he made sure to say that won't be easy because the women's 100 meter is probably one of the most difficult races. It'll be very interesting to watch. Well, Shakari is nothing if not interesting. In fact, she arrived at Paris 2024 as the 100-meter world champion and favorite for gold. However, she fell short of winning double gold at Paris 2024 after being shocked by St. Lucia's Julian Alfred. The 24-year-old Dallas native instead had to settle for silver, although she still ended up winning gold in the women's 4 by 100 meter relay. Needless to say, the rivalry between Richardson and Alfred continues to be under the watchful eyes of the entire track and field community. And well, when the two women went head-to-head -head at the Zurich Diamond League for the first time since the Paris 2024 final, they took the newest rivalry in women's sprinting into its next phase. Zurich's Weltklasse Diamond League meet had been the setting for the next stage in this intriguing contest. It was also Richardson's first chance to remind Alfred and the world exactly why she is world champion. And she did just that. Are they coming back at her? Yes, here comes Richardson. And uh, Richardson takes it. Richardson and Alfred both easing past Asha Smith. As you saw, the American world champion gained some revenge for her Olympic defeat by St. Lucia's Julian Alfred with victory in the women's 100 meter final at the Diamond League meeting in Zurich. Richardson took victory in Switzerland in a strong field winning in 10.84 seconds. Britain's Dina Asher-Smith, who failed to reach that Olympic final, finished third, while compatriot Daryl Nida came seventh. This is probably the funnest race I've had all season, Richardson said. I took that time after the games to come back, regroup, and be able to show you guys the Shakari Richardson y'all know. Clocking in at 10.84 seconds on the wet track in Zurich, her time was just four hundredths ahead of Alfred, who took second in the race. For Alfred, it wasn't much of a big deal. I am just having fun. I am trying to finish strong. I really have not had the chance to take my medal in, the 100-meter Olympic champion said after the race. After Paris, I went back to Texas and did some training. It has been up and down. I am still working on the fine-tuning. With that, Richardson and Alfred were set to meet again on the track for the Diamond League final in Brussels. There, Shikari planned to race in the women's 100 meter and 200 meter at her third Diamond League final, attempting the sprint double to end the season on a high. When it was time, the atmosphere at the Alliance Memorial Van Dam was as exciting as ever. After a tremendous comeback at the Zurich Diamond League, Shakari Richardson returned to the track in Brussels. Fans backed her hoping to see her claim another victory to her name. But much to their dismay, another slow start crushed that dream. Instead, the sprinter had to settle for an 8th place finish with 11.23 seconds on the clock. St. Lucia's Julian Alfred sprinted to the finish line 
clinching the Diamond League title in a blistering 10.88 seconds. Look at the run there from Dina Rasha Smith to get close to Julian Alfred. Wow. Mind you, she also gets a hefty prize for this win $30,000. Even though Marie Jose Talu Smith finished third today, she's leading the table with 31 points and will receive $10,000. Unfortunately for Shaq Carey, she's currently placed 8th on the Diamond League table with 16 points, which means the sprinter ends her season in Brussels empty-handed. After her thrilling victory at the Zurich Diamond League, Shaq Carey faced her Olympic rival one last time at the King Baudouin Stadium. But even though she was still riding the waves of her Zurich victory, things didn't work in her favor. Poised as the favorite, her slow start proved to be detrimental yet again. Trailing behind, there wasn't much the sprinter could do. As Julian Alfred emerged victorious in 10.88 seconds, Richardson slowed down before she crossed the line. I'm so happy it feels amazing to finish my season on a good note and to take the win, said Alfred. I am just so proud of myself, she added. Richardson couldn't say the same for herself. As a matter of fact, she ended up not competing in the 200 meter race the next day. Although the American star was due to contest the 200 meter, her name was missing from the official online start list. Dutch sprinter Tassa Gia replaced her in the lineup. As the final list of athletes for the 200 meter race was released, many fans noticed the American's name missing. After all, the event is considered to be her strongest category. But after a heartbreaking result of day one in Brussels, it looks like Shakari Richardson had pulled out of day two. One ex-user wrote, From the looks of it, Shakari Richardson might have pulled out of the Diamond League 200 meter finals after how things went down last night. There are more speculations along these lines, but at the end of the day, no one knows for sure why Shakari chose to withdraw from the event. Many wondered what was up with the athlete as one quipped, Richardson was strangely off her game. Some supposed that it was because the athlete had pushed herself to the limits. It can be noted that shortly after the Summer Games, she posted an Instagram story of a track with the note, Last Day Out. It was understandably interpreted by many as her confirming her season is officially over. This is why it came as a surprise when the sprinter surprised many with her contention in the Zurich and Brussels Diamond League. After her loss in Brussels, fans are wondering when they'll see her next. Many are already shocked, some enraged, at her surprising exclusion from the second season of the popular Netflix documentary, Sprint. In a recent press meet, Box to Box Productions revealed the release date of Sprint 2. However, while discussing the athletes that will feature this season, fans couldn't help but notice a significant omission. Shakari Richardson, a prominent figure from the first season of the docu-series Sprint, has been unexpectedly left out of its second season, much to the bewilderment of fans and critics alike. Whatever's next for her, you'll just have to wait and see. While waiting, watch this to see what other athletes are up to.